Hi there. Welcome back to the Curious Giraffe Show, where we sing together a lot. Here we go. When we sing together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple. Now you see we only have one little friend here with us today. Hi Tiger. Tiger is our quiet tour friend who still has interesting ideas. You use your eyes and your ears to watch. Okay, you want to know what new idea today is going to be about? Okay, so you're a curious tiger, aren't you? So we have a curious giraffe usually, but today we have a curious tiger. So tiger, I'm going to sing the next song about you. Oh boy, yeah, she listened to me. Yes, you may have a quiet voice, but you have an important voice, and I will do my best to listen. And I'll do my best to listen, too. That's what friends do. Okay, so we're going to sing Tiger Looked Over at Dorothy. Tiger looked over Dorothy and said, I'm curious what book and song she'll share this afternoon. Dorothy said, Papa is on the moon and we'll share under one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different So, Tiger, I'm going to let you watch from over here, and I'm going to read the book to all of us. Here's a beautiful cover. Can you see a child sitting against a tree, looking up at the moon? And the book is called Papa is on the Moon. And it's based on two real people. This is Alex, the little, the grandson, and his papa, who is his grandfather. He called him Papa. And it's written by his grandmother, Diane Pohorilo. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I would like to spell her last name. P-O-H-O-R-I-L-O. Pohorilo is the way I'm pronouncing it. Okay. Look at these beautiful pictures that were made by Barbara Lee. Hmm. Papa used a motorized wheelchair because his legs did not work. He would say, Alex, do you want to ride with me? I always said yes because I loved to sit on his lap 
and press the buttons that made the seat go up and down. Papa would laugh when I took his wallet from the side pocket of the wheelchair. I would take out his money and business cards, but I was always good and put everything back. Papa left us in July. It was a warm summer afternoon and the air was still. Then that evening it began to rain. The raindrops were like giant teardrops. Everyone in my family was sad because they missed Papa. I went to Nana and Papa's house and saw the wheelchair where Papa always sat. Papa was not there. Where was he? I thought and thought. Then I told Mama that Papa was on the moon. She said, is that right? I think he will be very happy there. A few months after Papa left us, I was having a birthday party and wanted Papa to come and meet my friends, Colby, Nathan, and Che. Mama said that Papa could not be at the party because he was still on the moon. I was sad. Then I decided that I was going to take a trip to the moon to visit him. First, I built a rocket ship and painted it red and blue. I made sure my name was on it so Papa knew it was me landing on the moon. I made sure I had a comfortable seat for the long trip. Next, I made a spacesuit from the old green and white striped curtains in my bedroom. I used scissors, needle, and thread. I made sure I put in plenty of pockets for me to carry letters from home to give to Papa. I got my football helmet to protect my head during blast off. I decided I was going on my journey when the next full moon appeared. I wanted the moonlight to guide me through the sky. It was a cold, clear night in late January, right around my Papa's birthday, when I decided to launch into space for my trip to the moon. I packed two peanut butter sandwiches, one for me and one for Papa. I filled my pockets with letters from Dada, Mama, Aunt Meg, Uncle B, and Nana. I also added an apple and some cheese in case I got really hungry on the way. I got into my rocket ship and blasted off into space. Higher and higher and higher I went until I could see the moon craters and Papa smiling. I landed with a thump, opened the rocket ship door, and ran into Papa's arms. Papa was tall and strong with white hair and bright white teeth. He picked me up and danced around with me in his arms. We were both so happy. Papa and I sat on a moon crater and ate our peanut butter sandwiches. He told me how much he loved me and missed me. I asked him to come back with me in the rocket ship, and he said he couldn't, because going back would mean he would not be able to walk and dance and run. I started to cry because I was so sad. Papa made me feel better by making me a promise. He said, 
Whenever you feel sad or scared, look up to the moon and know that I love you and I think you are very special. I am watching over you always. You will feel me in your heart and I will guide you. He wiped the tears from my eyes, gave me a big hug and kiss, and helped me board my rocket ship for the journey home. Before closing the door, Papa reached over, took my hand, and put a milky white moon rock in my palm. He said, Alex, this is a reminder of my promise to you. When I arrived home, my family was there to welcome me with hugs and kisses. Every night when I go to bed, I look up at the sky and I wait for the full moon to appear so I can see Papa's smile. I remember his promise and know he is sending me love and watching over me. I know I am strong and can achieve anything because of him. Okay, Tiger, what did you think of that beautiful story? Yes, yes, so it was written by a real grandmother about a real grandfather and their real grandson. But did he really, really go to live on the moon? <laughs> and, you know, I think that was a, a way that Alex felt he could always picture his grandfather still watching over him, even though when he died, his body was gone from Earth and from the wheelchair. And I don't really know what happens when we die, but like Alex, I remember with love all of the beings, the people and the animals, and I just hold them in my heart. And sometimes I have written a song about my pets and people that I have loved who are no longer with me. Hmm. Yes, I do. I have one about my dog, Rama. So I'll sing to you about Rama. You watch and listen there. Sing along if you want to. Okay. Rama had great big brown eyes. Rama was a big round size. Rama seemed so very wise. My best, best dog friend, Rama. Rama was a great big boy. Rama's name meant full of joy. All the world was Rama's toy. My best, best dog friend, Rama. Rama used to swim the lake side by and kind. 
constant wave he looked at me as if to say i'm your best best dog friend rama yeah i was really really sad when he died but often when i look out at the lake i remember him looking out the lake with me and swimming with me and loving the lake with me. And Tiger, I also had a cat and his name was Bardsley. And when he died, I made a song about him too. He was really different than Rama, but he was a lot of fun too. And so he is in this song. Bardsley was a funny cat When we met he was so fat Like a milk jug when he sat Our pudgy Bardsley cat And we loved him just like that Bardsley loved his daily food cat and we loved him just like that. Bardsley loved his small red tint. Often that is where he went. Curled inside he was content. Our cozy Bardsley cat and we loved him just like that. Bardsley was a cuddly cat to know when you were sad, then he'd climb into your lap, our caring Bardsley cat, and we loved him just like that. With his sister Mary Claire, what a happy loving pair, like mirror cats they would appear, a good brother Bardsley cat. glow in our hearts we feel a glow that's why even though we're sad when we have to say goodbye to to dear ones that we love it's so good to have that glow in your heart forever always so I have another friend named Carrie she's thought a lot about how things live and die and new things live and die and it just goes on and on and on and that's the way life is on our planet and she calls her song on and on and she even thinks about the plants too mm -hmm. Life comes up, life lays low, and all the time between is when we grow. And as we grow, this we know, it all goes on and on. Grass comes up, grass lays low, and all the time between is when it we know it all goes on and 
between is when we they fly and as they fly this they know it all goes on and on hmm. a bunny's life starts a bunny's life stops and all the time between is when they hop and as they hop this they know it all goes on and get squished and all the time between is when we itch and as we itch this we know it all goes on and on doggies come up and doggies lay low and all the time between is when Some lives are long, and all the time we live, we sing our song. And as we sing, this we know, it all goes on and on. Everything's born, and all things die, and sometimes when they do, we cry and cry, and as we Thank you, Tiger. I love when you give me a hug. I know you're feeling the love. The love goes on and on. Hmm. Yeah. I like to hug you, too. So I have one last song for you. And it's what I imagined when my mother died. Just like Alex imagined his grandfather was on the moon, I imagine that my mother is still with me in different ways. And I thought I'd share it with you. It's just different ways. Okay? Okay, you like your seat over here. There you go. <clears throat> Imagine this is my mother singing to me. I'm gonna be with you in a different way now. It's a mystery somehow, but true. Sometimes when you're walking, you feel a little breeze. That's a little hug from me to you. When you wake up bright and early, and you hold your eyes see the color in the sky it's just me there saying hi or as you fall asleep you'll sense something calm and deep it's just a sweet dreams kiss from me to you from me to you it'll feel brand new but we'll always be together like the air is part
stay a while I'm here if the snow is gently falling feel my love is here when you find a quiet moment close your eyes and see if you sense me right there with you just imagine you're with me just imagine that I'm there anytime Tiger, that's the way that I like to think about when someone dies, whether it's an animal friend or a human friend. I like to imagine the parsley cat still enjoying our warm fire. I like to imagine Rama still swimming the lake with me. And I like to imagine my mother giving me a good night kiss. Yeah, or a good night hug. So it's time for us to go and let's keep singing no matter what. No matter what, we'll get through it with a song. Just like my friend Carrie said in her song, Carrie Kovich, I hope I told you her name. She's the one that wrote the wonderful song on and on. And she, I love this verse that she says, and all the, some lives are short, some lives are long, and all the time we live, we sing our song. And as we sing, this we know, it all goes on and on. So here we go, let's sing our goodbye song. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Take care. I'm gonna be with you in a different way now. It's a mystery somehow. Colors.